Hey everybody, welcome to Fishing Planet, my name is Lady and today I'm going to make a video about what to do once you hit level 10. So in the previous video about how leveling up and making money, we spent most of our time in uh, Texas, a Lone Star Lake. Uh, now that we are level 10 and we've grinded some money, uh, you're most likely to be somewhere around 20,000 uh, grand. It is time to move on. Um, I know that at level 3, well, the river unlocks in uh, Missouri, however, the fish there do not pay a whole lot. So, uh, and since money is definitely an issue still in the game, uh, it's currently the 15th of February 2017, it is best to skip Mudwater River and go to Emerald Lake instead. Uh, I started doing this vid a bit earlier today, but unfortunately, right when I was in the middle of the video, uh, someone uh, hopped over at my place, so I had to redo it. Um, so yeah. Uh, I already made some purchases, but I'll guide you guys through every step. Uh, let's see. So, uh, say you have 20k, that is roughly the money that you want to have. Uh, 20k in credits. What you need to do then is go to the store. Uh, because in New York, we've got Chain Pickerel, we've got wa uh, Chain Pike, we've got Walleye, and we've got Northern Pike. And those are three very strong fish uh, species. Uh, we will be aiming the walleye mostly because they pay the most. They pay roughly uh, a little under 200 bucks all the way up to 450 bucks if we catch a trophy. So, But we need a bit heavier gear. So you go to the shop, you click on rods, like so. Uh, you go to the second page and you purchase yourself the value spin 260. It's available at level 7. Uh, for those of you guys who use the uh, Imperial system, it is the uh, third value uh, spin available. So you got the value spin 230, uh, sorry, value spin 190, which we purchased at level 3. Uh, you got a value spin 230, but what we actually need is value spin 260 because it allows us to cost further. So get this one, then onto reels. You go to page 2 again. At level 8, you can purchase the win cost 2500, and that is what we need for our new value spin uh, rod. So, uh, win cost 2500 is what we need. Then, on to lines. Here we go. You go to page 3. Uh, at level 10, uh, purchase um, this uh, braid open 1mm line. Uh, I purchased two of them. If you are level 11, grab that one because uh, it allows you to put more line on the reel. Uh, or when you're level 12, get the uh, break up on 1mm line with a length of 500 meters. Onto tools and equipment, and this will be the most heavy expense uh, that we are going to do, but we definitely need this one. Uh, Mechgen Fish Gel XS. It has a total fish weight of 15 kilograms. That's 33 pounds. And we need to fill this baby up constantly in New York with walleye. Uh, it allows us to make a profit of roughly 2800 bucks per day if you fill it to the max with uh, walleye only. So that is definitely what we will be needing. If we are to settle for something less, say for instance this one, uh, it can only hold 12 kilograms. That it basically means that your profit will be cut by, say, down from 2800 all the way to 2200, roughly. So we definitely to make the most money out of our uh, fishing trip at level 10. You need a fish tail excess. On to terminal tackle. Uh, chubby bobber if you want to float fish, and then hook. 2 odd is what we need. Uh, 1 odd is fine as well. If you want to do some pen fishing, hook number 4, hook number 6, uh, hook number 2, that's all good. But for float fishing, the 2 odd and 1 odd are definitely a must at level 10. On to lures. Here we are. Uh, we can use jig hats. And the preferred lures uh, would be shad. Uh, no, not shad, sorry. Grubs and worms. Um, but uh, I purchased this one, a uh, jig hat 1 odd, but a jig hat 2 odd is fine as well, as long as you do not go below 7 grams. 
so uh, Jigat 7 gram 2 alt is fine, uh, but I will prefer a bit bigger um, in, uh, in weight. Uh, these two casting spoons, if you've not purchased them yet, by all means go ahead and uh, they are a great investment. Uh, we can use them in New York as well. Uh, the casting spoon 1 alt, uh, red and silver and yellow with the red rods. And then uh, moving further. Uh, so for grabs, you can uh, grab the red one and the yellow one, make sure that they do fit hooks uh, number 2 to 2 odd. Uh, narrow spoons, the silver and uh, gold one, uh, however I do prefer a different type. Uh, let's see, these two, the emmelite or the purple one as we commonly refer to it and then uh, the black one. These are the two uh, narrow spoons that I'll be using uh, most of the time when fishing for walleye or also a chain pike by the way. Um, sometimes you can also hook a northern pike so these are awesome to have. I do notice that we have a dark green grub and I definitely want that one as well. But do purchase these two because they are definitely worth it. And uh, if you got some extra bait coins to um, spend, grab yourself a casting spoon 2 odd, uh, the red and white, and a casting spoon uh, 2 odd, yellow with the red rums. Those are great investments. You can use them on a lot of different lakes as well, and they work very good. Very good. So, but uh, narrow spoons, uh, the purple one and the black gloss, the, the, or the emerald and the black gloss, those are the must haves that we need and of course if you want to prefer uh, jig hat fishing go with a jig hat one odd uh, let's see uh, worms can work as well but here they cost bay coins so uh, grubs would be best make sure that they fit your uh, jig hat hook so for instance if you purchase this one uh, jig hat two odd 14 gram which is very good for a setup then you can use these grubs seven centimeters uh, get those as well uh, onto baits. Now, for fishing, uh, with uh, for float fishing, uh, what we need are small minnows. I purchased 50 of them. Uh, if you want to go after stuff like a smaller thing, a uh, rat worms does very well for yellow perch. Uh, Brat works, of course. Uh, dough balls work as well. There are a couple of uh, black crappies here in uh, in the waters too, and uh, grasshoppers. Uh, you could bring flies. Mm, not. Something I would uh, I would actually do a crappy uh, sorry crickets uh, work as well you can purchase those and uh, maggots as well uh, do not spend any bay coins on a crawfish or on a shrimp uh, for now it's not worth it so just um, for me while I'll be bringing our rat worms and small minnows and that is more than enough to uh, do the job for us and then last but not least we need the license. Uh, do not waste any money on basic license because advanced license covers everything. I purchased a day, uh, just a single day, uh, so uh, that is enough. And that would uh, that brought my total from I had nineteen thousand, and it dropped all the way to eleven thousand. Now, if we look on the map and emerald lake is selected you'll see that the traveling cost and the staying cost in total is 2500 so um that will drop you if you've got roughly 20k it will drop you under the 10k and that leaves you with some money to travel back and forth from uh new york back home if you want to upgrade and we will do an upgrade later on not in this movie but Later on, uh, I'll show you uh, that we need a different float setup with us. Um, float setup that I will be bringing for now is Telefloat 650 with the Inspire Cost 2000, Mono Oil Point 18mm line, Hook 2 odd, and small minutes. Um, by the way, I need to set up. Uh, Depth to 90 centimeters. Uh, this one is enough for stuff like yellow perch, red fin pickerel, uh, grass pickerel, but it is not enough uh, to reel in stuff like uh, a, a trophy chain pike or a uh, decent sized walleye or a northern pike. They will uh, spool you or break your line. 
But for the smaller stuff, it is all right at level 10. So that is why we are bringing it with us. And then here I have the value spin 260, win cost 2500, the braid over 1mm line and a narrow spoon. And gear wise I've got the, um, what is it, uh, I have the hobby gear rod bag that allows us 2 rods. I have the comfort camper vest, I have the easy go belt pocket and then I've got of course the official XS that I talked about. And the rest of stuff that we are taking with us is a hook 1, 1 or 2 odd and hook 4. Mono open 80mm line and braid open 1mm line. I've got the grabs with me and the jig hat 1 odd. You can also uh, get the 2 odd with you. I've got a 1 odd casting spoons and then the 4 colored narrow spoons but I will be using these two the most. And as for baits, uh, small minnows and red verbs. Oh, actually, I this I need to get some more red herbs. So uh, let's grab another one. Uh, all in all, your expenses will be roughly t a little under 10k if you purchase only the stuff that I uh, I showed you guys. But having that said, it is time to go to uh, New York. So we are to hit that travel button. Here we go. So New York has uh, two packs currently that we can uh, fish from. It has a dock and then it just has the shore. The shore is called Midland uh, Charm and the dock is called the Dock of Peace. On uh, cloudy days and rainy days, we are starting with a rainy day, make sure that you're using the uh, black narrow spoon. And on sunny days, you can use the um, purple one. If you do notice that you're not getting a whole lot of bites, Try switching it with the other color or either use the silver one, there you go, or the uh, golden uh, narrow spoon. Just uh, switch around a bit. But alright, I will be doing a, um, a, some more exclusive fits about each uh, fish species, but I'd just like to show you guys the area first. So here we go, it's a rainy day, do not get shocked uh, of some because of the rain, it can be quite loud. Uh, you can Tune down the uh, audio in, uh, in settings if you do not fancy it. So here we are in New York. There we go. This is the dock and this is where I fish uh, from mostly. Because it allows me to also hit that spot over there. And this is where uh, we can catch walleye, chain pike, but also northerns. Here in the middle of it, it's mostly uh, walleye and then... Uh, uh, sometimes a uh, grass pickerel or a uh, rat fin. Uh, also on occasion uh, northern or chain and uh, over here it's mostly chain uh, but also walleye and from time to time also northern. We have migrating fish so but so walleye especially on rainy and cloudy days you can fish them all over but you do need to have the distance to throw. Um, so that is why we went with a wind cost 2500 and braided line, it allows us the distance, uh, same with the uh, value spin 260. Now if we go to the other dock, and there we go, uh, to the other pack I must say, Midland Charm, here we are. Uh, there's a bunch of uh, lily pads over there. Um, but with this setup, if you set Dragon Free, you can uh, you can get a snack, but you it will release very quickly, and then you can cast uh, this portion of the lake as well. Uh, for walleye, it's a bit here, uh, sometimes here, but mostly here, and for chain pike over there is a great spot. Uh, it's also a great spot for float fishing, the uh, chain pike. Like I said, we will be grinding money and walleye is the fish that is paying us the most. If we fill up our stringer of 15 kilograms, 33 pounds, uh, you'll actually make a profit of 2800 bucks a day. But what you do is you cast out as far as you can, which is roughly with this setup 55 meters or that would be around uh, 160 feet. 160, 170, around that. Uh, so set your drag on free and your reel speed on free as well. And do a stop and go. So you press and hold left mouse button for a second. You wait and then you release it. 
uh, you release it and then you wait for a second just like so in the beginning we will get not a, uh, a perfect stop and go that has to do with the bottom doing some inclining and then some declining again but as we move on you'll see that stop and go indeed does uh, work now if you just say uh, straight and uh, slow uh, just ignore it just keep on doing it keep on pressing that left button hold it for a second release it wait for a second uh, the walleye uh, at times uh, they can strike very quickly sometimes they like to nibble a bit first now let's see if I can hook a walleye to show you guys the value that we get from it uh, the fish in general that you like to keep if you fill your net with walleye only that will give you a profit of 2800 if you fill it up with uh, some walleye and some chain you'll be having a profit of roughly 2500 and if you fill it with uh, walleye chain and northern pike it will be somewhere between 2000 and say 2200 there we go we've got a fish you up the drag you can put it five out of six just like so if it's not jumping it's a walleye and this one is a, a walleye indeed i already spotted the uh, dorsal fins and the walleye has two and once you hooked it oh we got the devoted achievement and we got a personal record awesome so this is the walleye you can see the two dorsal fins and those uh, sparks on the upper one they can truly sting you um this one as you can see this one is a little under the trophy weight trophy weight starts at uh between 1.6 and 1.8 kilograms and you can see it gives you 299 bucks of 300 and it gives you 102 xp so that is a great fish to go after do not mind the uh looks on the grip i know that they're totally off uh the developers team know it as well uh, with a grip handle you should always always put it on the lower lip not on the upper one because it can do some serious damage this way but yeah that is some uh, feature that will be dealt with later on so we definitely want to keep that fish and uh, this is basically what we will be doing until we are level 18 because as the current economy situation is uh, Colorado it takes us at least three days before we start making profit going off the trap uh, the same to be said for Missouri Mudwater River North Carolina unless you got a huge ass a string or fish net and go off the flathead your only option is to go off the trophy crappies and uh, to go after the smallmouth bass or largemouth and they pay only a hundred bucks per fish travel expenses are 6k so do the math <laughs> you need like 60 fish before you start making profit and that is not including your uh, your uh, the amount of days that you need to stay there and the uh, uh, extension fees that you need to pay for it uh, at level 16 you get access to Oregon. Oregon is a bit the same like Colorado. You need at least three full days of fishing before you start making money. Uh, after that comes Florida. And Florida again is uh, somewhat of a breeze. You can make uh, good money from day one on. But yeah, so um, until we are level 18 we are sticking with fishing walleye and, and the occasional chain and northern pike here in New York. Like I said, I'll be doing uh, vids about fish species uh, separately uh, for each uh, fish. Um, but that is basically uh, what you need to do once you reach level 10 until you're level 18, 19 and have grinded back all the money that we need. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and uh, if you did like it give it a thumbs up uh, do not forget to subscribe to my channel and uh, if you want to see me play fishing planet live uh, go to my twitch page it's uh, twitch.tv slash lady of games the o in off is a zero it's not an o um, but you can also find the link uh, down below 
So uh, that's it for today, guys. Uh, I'm wishing you happy days, tight lines. Uh, I'll see you next time again with a new vid. Bye bye.